Eric. Can you give an example, a um, simple example of just how to explore fear? It seems to be the prevalent, at least in my experience, uh, emotion. You must understand that when you're afraid, you don't feel fear. You feel the resistance to our fear. So at that moment, you must give yourself to the resistance. And the resistance is going to be the openness to your experience of fear. When you feel fear, you're not afraid. Like if you, you pay $100 to jump from a bridge with an elastic on your ankle. Why are you paying hundred dollar? Because you you want to feel fear. But if you're afraid, you cannot jump. You jump willy, willfully. You pay hundred dollar. You jump. You go up and down, up and down, and people take you up. You sleep well. Why? Because you have let the whole fear. You, you yell the fear. You come down and. And when you let the fear totally leave, the fear disappear, and you sleep very well, you're happy there. But you pay hundred dollars. You come, they put the elastic on your anchor. You rise on the bridge, you're ready to jump. Are you afraid? You want to jump. They push you anyway, you pay. Then you're gonna be afraid. Maybe for ten years you're gonna take this road anymore, because you're afraid. You will not sleep many, many days. Why? Because you're afraid. But it's a difference the first men who jump willfully, who are really let the fear and express, and the other one who is afraid. But the first one, the fear expands the whole universe in a way, and nothing remains. Another one keep everything. So the point is to feel fear. When you're afraid, you only feel the resistance. So you must uh, be more and more attuned physically with the localization of fear. Like you wise sleep with a neighbor and you're, you're afraid of something. And you, when you, anything, you see a dog, whatever. Somebody is going to ask you, how do you know you're afraid? You're going to say, I feel it. Great. Where you feel it? In your car? In your fridge? No, no, you feel it in your body. Where in your body? Take your time when you feel the fear in your body, in your belly, in your chest, in your throat, in your shoulder. You feel it somewhere because you said, Oh, I feel it. So the first thing is inquiring where is this so called fear that I pretend to feel and which I do feel. And then you're going to see that when you go, to, it will take some time. That's why we do yoga. Because what, why we do yoga? Because yoga, some yoga make people healthy. We don't do that because. A stimulation. Some people, uh, some yoga make people spiritual. We don't do that because we're interested in spirituality. We do yoga for the stupid who want to remain stupid. So we do movement to bring no effect on the body. You bring your arm, I promise you, you don't bring your arm right and left with your life, you bring no effect on the body. When you understand that, when you do this yoga we do, you expect nothing because what we do bring no result. That's why we do it. So there was some result, we'll expect something, but we, but we don't expect anything. So I can really raise an arm, I can really, no expectation. And then when the arm, when the arm come back, in all sensitivity, something happened, very little, because it's a very mild movement, or fourth age, but something happened. So you're gonna slowly discover the openness in a very, very, very mild, happening in your body. When fear will come, this study of your body you made will make it easy for you to understand, to feel the fear here or here or in the body or in the shoulder. And then in the same way that you understand that when, you, when your hand is tight, you're not tight, the hand is tight. And when the hand is open, you're not open, the hand is open. The hand is tight, I'm not tight. My hand is open, I'm not open. My belly is tight, I'm not tight. My belly is tight. My chest is tight, I'm not tight. My back is tight, I'm not tight. When I begin to experience that, and that's a good yoga. And that takes some time because when the beginner comes, uh, you make him sit, he said, uh, explore forward and 
So what do you feel? What do you feel? Oh, I am tense. You teach the person for three months. Three months later, making sitting. Go forward. He feel the same. But if I ask him, what do you feel? Then I said, my back is tense. Yes, great. He's not tense anymore. His back is tense. That's what we want. My shoulder is tense. I'm not my shoulder. My hand is tense. I'm not tense. The fear is here. I'm not afraid. I feel the fear. I go to see a sad movie. I feel the sadness. I'm not sad. I see very well. So I feel it was so beautiful. The movie. So it's beautiful to feel sadness when you're not sad. It's beautiful to feel fear when you're not afraid. So you must see the difference between being afraid when you block everything and let the fear, when child play, when they play to, child make the, they play to make the other afraid and they sleep very well. So fear is not the problem. The problem is the fear of fear. So you must see the perspective. When you're afraid, you don't feel. You only feel the tense body which you create to not feel the fear. And as slowly, slowly, you want to stop resisting the fear. The fear, the love, you're entitled the fear to, and then the feel, the fear is going to really, really essentially spread in the whole body. And when the fear, an emotion spreads, 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 at some point, it's no more contraction. It becomes an expansion. It becomes a beauty. That's why people pay to jump on the brain. And or at Hooper, or for example, it is the same thing. To feel fear, people go to Holocaust their way to feel fear. If you don't feel fear, you don't pay $20, you're stupid. You pay to feel fear. And if you're afraid, you don't go. So you see the difference. Being afraid, stop life. Feel fear is the beauty of life. So, encounter fear that way. Next time you have the chance to feel fear, welcome it as a, as a writer. You want, want to write about the men who have fear. You want to describe them. how does he feel? How does this man feel? He feels fear. Is it in the shell? Is it in the belly? Is it the expansion? Is it the contraction? Is it more sweet fear? Is it acid? Is it dark? Is it light? Is it vibrating? Is it solid? Feel the sensuality of the fear. You're not afraid. And then you're going to see that during the time you will explore the fear, as long as you remain with the feeling, there's a kind of expanding coming. Then the picture comes, maybe your wife and the neighbor, they and some neighbor. And then you, you're afraid again, and it's fine. You see that you're, you're closing yourself. Where? And then you feel again. And you forget your wife, you forget the next dog waiting for you outside, and you, you forget you have to pay your tax, you cannot pay. You, and again, you let the feeling of fear vibrate and open and expand. And then the picture comes again. Maybe your son was crushed by a car, maybe the war coming. Picture come, fear come. But now you see the mechanism. Leave aside the picture, come back to the fact, the fear, what is it? And then, Slowly, slowly, you're going to come to a possibility of the, the whole feeling of fear really expand. And then the visualization come of the situation of so called cause you fear, you will do nothing for you. Like now, 20 years ago, this situation that caused fear in you, now you don't care. Why? Because you don't make any personal relationship with the situation. And what you feel, fear now, and sometimes you will not be afraid anymore. So, the cause of fear is the image. So, here we, do, we leave the fact. We forget the image. It may not be on the moment. The dog attack you. Or I'm not seeing. And let the dog eat you and feed the fear. No, you may kill the dog. You may jump on the trees. You may call the police. And you may squeeze the, car with the dog with your car. And you may, uh, whatever. But then it's finished. The dog has been taken away. Or... But the Fear is still there. Great. But now it's time to feel it. Still there. Like you have a car accident this morning, this evening you still feel fear. So you, sometimes you cannot feel it at the same moment. So after, but after it is there. So <coughs> after you let the, the vibration of the fear caress you, 
to like you buy a new piece of hashish, a very interesting hashish from Afghanistan, from Sitra, from Pakistan, from Colombia, whatever you like. So you smoke the hashish, when right? you inhale, and what you do then? You do nothing. You let the thing happen. You become totally passive. Feel the same thing without buying the hashish. You let the feeling spread. And sometimes when the feeling spreads, some image may come from your past. You realize that actually there's only one fear. When you were three months old, when your mother or whoever was not giving you food at the moment you wanted it, there was this fear of dying. The baby cried because, you know, if he doesn't eat, he's dead in three days. And this fear will repeat. Then after you two years old, and you, the fear is that maybe your parents don't come back. And then you're four years old, maybe your father don't love you. That. And you're six years old, and you're afraid of your teacher, and you're eight years old, you're afraid your friend don't, is nice with you, and you're 20 years old, and you're afraid you won't pass your exam. And you're 25 years old, you're afraid you want this woman don't marry you. And 30 years old, you're afraid you, you don't want to divorce from you. It's always the same thing. So go away from the so-called cause of the fear, because it's not a cause. It's a reminding of the very early fear you had when you were waiting for food. And the baby knows, and the baby cry, no food, three days, I'm dead. Feel strong. This is bold in our brain, bold in our cell. So fear is repetition of that. The wife, the woman you slept 20 years ago, at the time she slept with somebody else, it was a disaster for you now. You hear she sleeps with me, so you don't care. What was the problem? Not the fact. The imagination. I'm with this woman. How can she do that to you? She, 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 she doesn't do that to you. She does that to somebody else. It has nothing to do with you. But in your fantasy, she does that to you. But nothing other, ever done anything to you. Only your fantasy. So you come back to the fact Fear is an emotion, but go away of the situation. As long as you want to free yourself from that fear, it doesn't work. Because you can, be, you can remove that fear, but you'll be afraid of something else. Like you live in a very violent neighborhood, you go to train in martial arts, maybe after some years, you're not afraid of somebody attacking you in the street, but you're still afraid you wife sleep with somebody else, you're still afraid somebody rape your child. So you may move your, your fear from one object to another. That's possible. It's technical. But you never remove fear. Myself, I've been close to people of many uh, elite corps in fighting in the French or Indian. These people are not afraid of dying. They're not afraid of uh, a knife. They're not afraid of a gun even. But maybe they're afraid their wife sleep with somebody else. So you can move the fear from one part, but you it will go somewhere. Like you, you climb, you climb, you climb, you somebody beat your hand, you, you open, but you don't grab something else. So if you live in a bad neighborhood and you try street fighting, maybe it's functional. Not to remove fear, but not to remove fear of violence. But you'll be afraid of fantasy. So you must see the fear come back with early fear, dying. No food, no. no I'm dying. So, as long as you concentrate on the cause of the fear, you're done to see psychologists, and that's respectful. But when you're in a in calling line, in a traditional way, you don't see psychologists anymore. I don't care what I'm afraid of. I'm only interested in the fear. The fear is here. Not the past. The past is finished. It's gone. I don't care the past. The fear is now. Now I feel it. Now I can let it live. Now you can disappear. Never in the past, nor in the future. I fear of tomorrow, I cannot do anything. But I fear of yesterday. No, the fear is now. It's an actual experience, uh, free of any cause. So as long as I see I'm afraid of this and I want to challenge that, see a psychologist. They do like that. But for us, we no psychologists. Fear is here, I challenge it, not challenge it, I, I welcome it in the moment. 
logica. And in the moment of this sensual fear, this experimental fear will slowly open up, maybe some picture of my past will come up. Then I see all this pattern of fear was actualized in that situation. When I was eight years old, I was four years old, I was 25 years old, yes. Yes, I was so afraid of it after it was that fear. I was so afraid of that, it was that fear. I may see that all who I may not. That's very personal. But you must abide in the feeling of fear. When you feel fear, you're not afraid anymore. And then something happened. But as long as I'm afraid, I'm only living with the story. I'm afraid of this, I'm afraid of that. This and that can do nothing for me. Only the experimental fear here is the roots, the door to what is important. That all we approach it in country tradition. And if I did that before um, and it seemingly didn't work, does that mean I'm still resisting it? Or I'm not exploring it enough? You know, we cannot do things. Things happen to you. You cannot decide again willingly to feel fear. Maybe last time you wisely to the never, and you have this fear, and you, yes, you, you lie in your bed and you felt it. And yes, and it didn't go through. That's called life. The first time you play tennis, you don't play that well. The first time you listen to fear, you don't play that well. First time you drive fast, you don't drive that well. So the first, you know, yes, we have to do it over and over because we uh, it's not easy. We live with pattern. Many times you uh, now you, you realize that this I will not do anymore, and you do it again. You are very slow, but this I will not do it anymore, and then you do it again. But this I will not be violent anymore. And you are violent again. We are like that. We are very slow. Some people are fast, maybe Shankar Acharya was different and we are happy for him. Maybe Abin Abukta was different, we are happy for him. <laughs> but most of us, yes, we are, we are deadly slow. One time you realize that, and you may begin the mistake. You realize you don't, you don't need to do that, and you're going to do it again. You realize you see the pattern, I've seen my pattern, now I will not, and yes, you're going to do it again. We are slow grower. We have to accept it. Up to the moment that maybe something happened. I uh, I do know some people, very few uh, women, I think, just in the moment that I think, I don't think anything she can be afraid of. They're not very rare. Uh, I know many people who have faced fear, and, but the next day, fear may come and they don't face it. It's called life. There's no security in life. You cannot come to an openness which you can say that is ultimate. It is fantasy. Even Mr. Ricard in some sermon said that you cannot reach a level of humility that you cannot go deeper in humility. So if Mr. Ricard says that, well, and Abin Gupta in the chapter 37, the last chapter of Tantra Loka said, well, this opus, this Tantra Loka which I wrote, whether that was my experience, that's my knowledge. But some people may go much deeper in life. Some people went further, went, deep, went deeper in life before me. Some people will go further after me. I only convey my experience to the moment. So, Abhinav Gupta, Mr. Eckhart say that you cannot reach ultimate, ultimate the concept. So, the human level Level, but never forget the Islamic point of view that the human, uh, human, Purusha, the, the real man has two, two faces the face of glory, which is his real face, and the face of servitude. And Ibn Arabi said the face of glory is truer. Than the face of servitude, but in the realm of human life, the real man must live as servitude, not as glory. <clears throat> so, limitation as the gift of the eliminate here, yeah. non limitate. 
to uh, help us to see how we function. So, yes, one time, million times, and nothing to do in life. Stop buying your car, stop changing wives, stop buying your shoes, stop traveling, stop going to spiritual uh, sessions, stop reading books, stop doing golf, stop eating, stop watching TV, stop everything and give yourself to this exploring. One time, two times, million times, there's nothing else to do in life. Then you'll die happy. Uh, so, there's no time. Thank you.